Hey guys, welcome back to Lifestyle, Lifestyle of the Plebe and Nameless. I'm Joan. And I'm Coco. And today we'll be showing you how to make Chinese herbal soup. My dad's way, which is the best way. There you go. <laughs> if you're new to this channel, welcome and thanks for stopping by. We would love for you to subscribe, so make sure you hit that button and ring the notification bell. Why do Chinese people love herbal soup? Chinese people love herbal soup because it helps with your qi, which is your energy inside your body. And I feel like the herbal soups, they're just very healthy for you in general. Yes. And it's a great way to boost your immune system, especially during seasonal changes where you often get sick. And it's not something you only drink when you're sick. Some families, they make it every week just to keep that energy flowing in your body, keep you healthy. And it's a, like a great addition to the dinner table as well. We wanna show you how quick and easy it is to make Chinese herbal soup, especially for people who are away from home and want a reminder of a taste of home. What's quick and easy about it is Asian supermarkets actually sell these herbal packets that are pre-packaged. So all you have to do is put it into your soup. It comes all together. You don't have to go scrounge up ingredients by yourself. And in case you don't live by an Asian supermarket, you can also find these online. So during the lockdown, I actually found a website called Soup Queens, and this video is not sponsored by them at all. But I was able to find different pre-packaged packets. The prices are a little bit pricier compared to the supermarkets, but they have great combos, like they have detox packages, prenatal, postpartum, and I found that their abalone shells are the best. Oh, what do you use that for? You actually put that in the soup as well. It adds like a little bit of a seafoody flavor and it just makes the soup really rich. We're gonna do a basic one today with a Cornish hen. So let's get started. Our ingredients for this Chinese herbal soup is a packet of herbal mix, a Cornish hen, and I love using Cornish hen because they don't have antibiotics, but Chinese people traditionally, you can also use the black chicken, the silky chicken, and two pieces of sliced ginger. And that's it. So in this soup packet, we have five different ingredients. The first one is the female ginseng, which in Chinese is dangsheng. It helps with the blood and immune system, and it helps to basically promote blood circulation. The next ingredient is huishen, which is dry Chinese yam, and this helps to aid digestion, and it's great for the stomach and spleen. The next ingredient is Dangui Pian, which is another ingredient that supports the heart and blood vessel health. Some people also use it to treat skin problems like acne and eczema, so it's great for the skin. And then we obviously need to add the goji berries, which are high in antioxidants and it helps with anti-aging. They're great for immune health and it's also great for your eye health too. And then the next one is your dried dates, the jujubes. These are also very blood nourishing and they're rich in vitamin C. It also adds like a hint of sweetness to the soup, so it kind of balances the whole recipe. The first thing you do is you wanna soak all these Chinese herbs to get all the dust off. Make sure it's nice and clean in your soup. Then we open the Cornish hen. This one doesn't have any giblets, so you're okay. But if it has giblets, you wanna take that out. I have a pot of boiling water over here. And what you wanna do is blanch the chicken for a few minutes to get the dirt and the bloody water out so that it doesn't go into your soup. So the chicken's been boiling for a few minutes and we're ready to just put it into the soup pot. And now I know this is very Chinese, but you know how Asian parents don't measure anything? So when I asked my dad how much water to put into the Chinese herbal soup, he said, just fill four of these soup bowls of water. Our Chinese herbs have been soaking for a few minutes, so it's time to strain it and put it in with the soup. It smells so good. I wish y'all can smell this. And don't forget your two slices of ginger. Cover the pot. 
you want to bring this to a boil and then turn your heat to low so that it simmers for an hour and a half but check on it periodically so that you make sure all the water hasn't boiled out you don't want a dry soup and as you notice we're using a clay pot here you can use a regular stainless steel pot or any type of pot you have at home but clay pots just traditionally used to make Chinese herbal soup what's great about it is that it keeps all of the moisture inside of the soup so it's less likely to evaporate and that just helps to keep all of your nutrients in the soup it's ready let's take a look that smells so good look at all this beautiful broth so concentrated so healthy I can smell all of the herbs in here. And last but not least, we need to add a little bit of salt to taste. I usually put about half a teaspoon for the whole pot, but since we're doing it to taste, just sprinkle a little bit on there because you don't want it to be too salty. You want the star of the show to be the herbs and the chicken flavor. Oh, you gave me a drumstick. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Only the best for Joan, right? Mmm, that is some good Chinese herbal soup. What do you think? You definitely smell like the aroma of the medicine, but it's not overpowering. No, so if you've never had Chinese herbal soup before, don't be scared. It's definitely something you get an acquired taste for because the more you drink it, mm -hmm. the more you feel like it's healing to the soul. And a lot of these ingredients that we put in there, like it's edible, like the goji berries and the jujubes, go for it. Just eat it. Mm. The chicken is so tender. It just falls right off the bone. It's great for people who are looking for like a more healthier lifestyle because this soup right here is not a lot of calories and it fills you up. You can have it for lunch or for dinner. It's not like American soups that are full of creams and thickener. This is very good detoxifying soup. We hope that you give this soup a try. It's super healthy and it's a great way to supplement your diet. It definitely reminds me of whenever my mom would cook it for me. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We do lots of fun videos for you here, from food tours to product reviews, and we even take you on our little adventures. Don't forget to ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of these. Follow us on Instagram at Leave a Nameless. We have lots of exclusive content on there for you. See you next time on Lifestyle, Lifestyle of the Pleave and Nameless. Bye! Bye.